Hello and welcome to MVP Days online conference. What we're going to do today is talk about Microsoft Graph API. Microsoft Graph API is very broad in capabilities and offerings. My purpose today will be to give you a, a heads up on what the Graph API is, what are the tool sets you have, and where to go and find more information if you are looking to get started using Microsoft Graph API in your applications. A quick intro about myself. Uh, my name is Ashish and I am a Microsoft MVP in Office Development category. In Office Development, we talk about SharePoint, Microsoft Graph, Teams, and Office Alliance development, and anything which has to do with the extensibility of Office 365 platform. You have my email address and, and my Twitter handle. So if you have any questions or any follow-up things, uh, feel free to sh send them through either on Twitter or on my personal email address. So let's first set a scene about what we're going to do today. Uh, I will be very specific as what we're going to talk about. Uh, first, I will talk about is what the Microsoft Graph API is. And then I will talk about its capabilities, uh, what it has, what it can do, where it can connect. After that, we will talk about some more real world scenarios where you can use uh, Graph API. Uh, I will talk about some of the scenarios which I have worked upon and some of the scenarios uh, which uh, the Microsoft partners are using the Graph API and building solutions. Then I will go through some of the demos, um, including the documentation portal. Uh, the portal is new and has a lot of features, so I will talk, browse through that so you know a lot of scenar uh, application scenarios which are available and how to use the resources available from that portal. Uh, then we will do a wrap up as, as what we have done, uh, the couple of the points as a key takeaway so they will be very short and crisp and that help you to talk to anybody about the Microsoft Graph API. So, so as a Microsoft Graph API and it's very big, what, it, ha, it can be categorized in three ways. The first one is the data or the information available in the Office Microsoft Graph API, or you can access via Microsoft Graph API. So your Office 365 information, whether it's the user personal email address information, user manager information, user emails, user plans, planner task, user uh, <clears throat> sorry, user user emails, user planner task, uh, user teams, user groups, anything around the user or across the organization, you can consume that information. It also supports the Windows 10 uh, connections, so you can push notifications, you can get the timeline information for the user from the Windows 10 devices. It also extends the EMS, which is a security suite of Office 365 uh, in the Microsoft 365 world. So you can react to real time information on threats and protection. The other thing is who can use it or the use, where is the user base? So your corporate consumer education users can consume this in API via your apps or this, uh, this API is already being used in Office 365 and providing more intelligence. So they are already using in, in some other way. How to use it? So you, as accessing this Microsoft Graph API, there is only one endpoint, uh, which is graph.microsoft.com. You just get a one authentication token uh, or auth key for the user uh, or for the application, and you can complete the, the tasks which are defined for that permission. Uh, you can consume the specific SDK for your application, which is there for .NET and for other uh, programming languages, which I will show when I'm browsing through the portal demo. So as you, you will see here that uh, how you can leverage your, your application and connect with the Microsoft Graph and then consume the information available in the Microsoft 365 world. I will be using Microsoft 365 because it's a combination of Office 365, Windows 10, and EMS. So you could have a, a web app or you could have a, a HoloLens app or you could be building a Teams board or Azure board or you could be just writing background processes uh, to automate a lot of tasks. So you can use Microsoft Graph API. Using the Microsoft Graph API, uh, you, you will use Microsoft Identity. It's education, consumer, or co commercial. Uh, you have a lot of information available via, uh, via rich content as a, 
everything in the Office 365 world is available. It also includes the insights or trending information. So you could make decisions on the right time using that insights information. It is not a, a cached information, it's a real time information. So you will be able to read information as it comes through. Now, the power of Microsoft Graph API. So as you saw, like it can go and hit a lot of things in the Office 365 world and you are able to access the information and intelligence side of the, the predictions, ca prediction capability uh, of the cloud in the Microsoft Graph API. Now, how, how you see that uh, uh, Microsoft Graph API can do things? So you could use anywhere in Microsoft 365 platform. Now, I will not talk about uh, the a lot of scenarios very specific to as how you can develop the apps here. Let me show you that what happens in Microsoft 365 Word. So in Microsoft 365 Word, you have a very specific productivity application suite and you have like SharePoint, your Teams, Office, your devices, um, and uh, these information, uh, these, these uh, uh, sections give you document, conversation, pages, timeline, in your devices, and Microsoft Graph can connect to either of these uh, sections. Same way, if you're just building a standalone application, uh, um, whether a mobile device or services, you could still connect uh, the, to the Microsoft Graph API and automate your work. Now, scenario-wise, there are a lot of scenarios which I can talk about, but I will focus on uh, information around me and about me. Uh, you know, like we know information like my manager, my mobile number can make a lot of difference when it's available. And things like when we put a leave request and my manager is on leave, he's not available or she is not available, uh, the process should be intelligent enough to reroute that thing, uh, leave application, to my manager's manager. So until I, if I don't know if he's out of office, I can't do that. And uh, the graph is capable to, to find out that and send the, or reroute the process. A lot of things are like based on my department, my request can go to some other department processes and, and, and then go to finance and HR. Or based on my location, I could be notified with a lot of information which are very specific to that location. So a lot of information around me and about me can help build that inf processes. B simple business processes, things like user onboarding, user offboarding, uh, the vendor onboarding, um, talking about uh, teams automation. So you could have a flight uh, who is coming up and you know the pilots and you know the crew members. You can create teams, you can connect them, uh, invite them. Then they, you can post messages, files required for that flight. When the flight uh, take off, you, you can push the notifications that flight is in the uh, air and, and the things will be received on that information. Then the flight landed, everything done, just it for that flight particularly. You can archive the team. When you archive the team, it's available. So you can automate that full business process using the Microsoft Graph API. Now it depends on your solution as how you would like to design the solution using Flow, uh, Azure Functions, SharePoint List, uh, whatever way you would like to design it. You can also create ex external or custom connectors in Power Apps and Flow. So a lot of things are not available in Power Apps and Flow like security wise. Uh, you can use Graph API to read the user groups security information in the Azure AD and you can push that information back to the Power Apps and Flow and, and you can control the security of the applications. You get trending and popular information so you can react upon someone else doing a work and, and you can appreciate them or you can connect with them if you are interested to do that work. Uh, in the EMS world, you can uh, monitor the threat protections uh, and alerts and as soon as the alert comes up, you can analyze the alert, what type of it is and based on the scenarios, you can straight away take actions on it. Now, uh, I'm gonna do these demos and uh, let's jump into that before I go further. Okay, so as we discussed, let's look at the demos here. Uh, let me jump on the portal here. So this is my Office 365 portal, which I'm using. Now I'm gonna jump to the single URL, which is graph.microsoft.com. And that takes me to the portal where the new developer documentation is available. Now, if you see over here, there are solutions available. So you can see 
the all possibilities of using Microsoft Graph API, things like onboarding user, integration with Excel, finding meeting times, converting documents, keeping data sync. There are a lot of partners uh, here who have built solution on top of Microsoft Graph API. So you can see a lot of scenarios available here which you can think of and, and build your application. Now the next thing, let's look at the documentation here again. Uh, so this is the portal where you can see a lot of information around the Graph API. So services in the Graph API, what user can do, and, it's, and you can use it in the hybrid also, but it's limited as how you can use. Uh, the learn experience here tells you a high level information about each service endpoints as how you can use. Uh, let's look at one of the teamwork, which this is just updated recently. So you can see a lot of information here. Then now, how you can get the authentication token, uh, registration app, access behalf on a few user, without a user, permissions, how you can use the API as a, a, the recommendations are paging, query par parameters, batch requests, throttling, and the important thing is to check the change log. A lot of time you will see how the, the API is improving and what has been changed. So you can get that information here. Uh, there is a beta endpoint and there is a v1 endpoint. v1 endpoint is a general available or G endpoint. Beta is, is good to try on, but you have to be careful that beta can change over the period of time. The next piece which is important to know is about the, the graph explorer here. So this is like a playground area for yourself. So you can sign up with your account. I have done the sign up and authentication process and consent process. So now here, let's if I have to play with something, I can quickly jump on the getting started mode here. So I can jump on the users and play all users here in my organization, uh, user by email address, so I can pass on the email address. So these are the parameters here. Uh, in my skills, so it can find out my skills, my planner tasks, uh, so it can pull all the planner tasks from the systems and pull, uh, track user changes, so if there are any changes, it will follow up here. You can change this to look upon, let's say, the insights or insights beta. So my recent files, all uh, over here trending around information shared with me. So you can see a lot of inf information and this is a very good area to see the, the trials. So you can change the request header, request body, change it to V1 and beta endpoint. You can do get post put. Um, and you can see how the rest endpoint is working or what type of the parameter has to be passed upon. Now the imp other important thing is that this is a live system. So if you are connecting your production uh, tenant here and authentication, if you are admin, uh, then it have to be very careful in using this. I am using my demo tenant trial here, so I can do a lot of operations without any problem. The next piece is about the quick starter template. So getting started information is very good here. So let's see that. Now here, the thing is, uh, whenever you're building application, security comes first as what application can do, who can access, what, whether they are from our AD or from outer AD or, or what scenario you have. Now, and the, a lot of time goes around setting up the security for application. The quick starter templates in the Graph API give you the capability to get a project which is already built with the authentication. Now, let's go ahead and try build an app as with a quick start template. Uh, I will keep uh, MVC here. You have a choice of other applications as well. You can select UWP or whatever you, if you would like to. Now, the thing is you have to have a Visual Studio Community 2017 or Enterprise 17. So if you are on a previous version of Win Visual Studio, you can't use it. And you will notice that I'm using a 2017 Community Edition, but a still preview, which is a bit ahead of the releases than a normal uh, Community version. Now here, when I go to get an app and ID, it's gonna go to a portal and register my application since I have logged in here. sign in and goes to the apps dev URL, which is where currently the app V2 AD V2 endpoints are working. Uh, in the future, they will be going 
to the Azure ID. Now this is important to know the app secret and I will just take a note on the notepad here. So let me just copy it on the notepad and keep it down. Let me go back to the quick start board. So I got my app ID here as well. I will take it down as well. And then I will download my code. Okay, cool. I'm gonna just copy this code to a, a proper location. Give me a second. So here is the thing. So I have got the code here and I'm gonna unzip it and just do the ex extraction of the files. And once done, I will jump in, open the project. Let me bring the project on the screen so that I can show you that. It takes a bit while in opening the projects. Okay, so here's the project. Now, here if you go to the web config, it's a web project. You will see the information. Yep, here, private settings. Now app ID is already there. What I have to do is the app secret. Copy that, push it there. It is already the local host redirect URL and it knows that user read and calendar read are the permissions. Now I'm gonna save this and I'm gonna run it with Chrome. So hopefully it should land in the same Chrome browser here and then it should be able to pick up my user credentials um, and ask for my authentication. It takes a bit time to build the new projects and build succeed looks good setting up okay yeah so it has picked up my chrome profile and then it should load the page and hopefully it should straight away go ahead Uh, it takes time a bit to build the web projects and load it up for first time. Uh, I'm going to do a sign in now. It's able to pick up, ask the authentication, at least just do for me. I don't want to consent for the organization here. And yep, yeah, I go and check my calendar. It should be empty. These are the previous things. So you can build easily these websites and look upon the information, do a sign out, and then just close the browser. So how is it is easy now to get up and create a project with the authentication with the Graph API, and, and then you have to just focus on the business value of it. Now let's go and look at the some of the uh, application which I have created. So I'm pretty sure you have worked with Windows Forms and WPF Forms in the past. Now what I have here is a Windows Form application and if you see over here this is the, the code here which I have written and this simple I, I don't count this thing if I look upon this button code which is like 10 lines of code maybe can do all the bits. So when I run this project I have very simple thing here. I get a do a login, and it's able to pick up this username here, which is my demo environment, and it can straight away read my name, job title, and it can read my Windows files here. Yeah, this is a Windows form application, so it these are this is my OneDrive files here. Uh, location and it's my folder, so you can easily connect the Graph API in your Windows form application as well. Uh, even WPF as well. So I don't have a full application, but I can get my authentication token. And that means when I get my authentication token, I can do anything in the Graph API. And let me just pull it up here. Uh, 
and this is my authentication token now i have the authentication token i can do anything and i will show you a quick code of this so if you see over here i have an authentication and i have used a built-in login system as as a, a dll based sdk based and i don't have to write a lot of things here i can straight away go and get that information here so once it is available i can just go and call further apis in the microsoft graph and do the work now that was all for the demo so let's go back and summarize what we have discussed so far Okay, so as you saw that uh, 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 the portal is pretty brand new. A lot of information is available, what you need. And you can go ahead and uh, read that information at any point of time. As a key takeaway from this session, I would like to recommend that five points. First, first is the Microsoft Graph API, hashtag Microsoft Graph, API, Microsoft Graph. So if you are on Twitter and you would like to know more information, follow this hashtag. There are a lot of users who are tweeting about this. A lot of announcements are coming through this hashtag. So you will know what's happening in the Microsoft Graph API. It's a single entry point in Microsoft 365 work. So anything as an onboarding or process automation, business processes, anything, you can use just graph.microsoft.com as a, as a one entry point and, and your app or your solutions can and get benefit from the Microsoft Graph API. Users uh, can come from corporate consumer and education. So if you have a scenario where you can satisfy all the three users, you have to just write one time code and all the three side of users will be able to use your application. It's possible to completely use in a standalone applications or within the Microsoft 365 world, whether it's SharePoint Teams or uh, as a functions or whatever you, you would like to build. So it's completely independent uh, of, your, of the platform and, and you can use it without any problem. Only thing is you have to authenticate the users up to with the uh, 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 identity system. Uh, and remember the last and the important thing is whenever you have any questions, just hit graph.microsoft.com and you will land on the portal and you can connect to the information you can connect to the individual who has who are there you can connect anything which i have done in the demos today as well so thank you for taking time and joining us today in the mvp days online conference and uh, look forward to seeing you in the other sessions thank you